Let's go. Work through that. Work through that. Four. And that's okay, guys. Look. Drop. The reps were hard for him in the black band, right? So his body knew that he couldn't do the reps, right? But he did the reps with my spot. So now his body's like... I'm just killing time waiting I'm just killing time. This whole time. Play this at my funeral. Many issues I'm swimming through, fishing around for the truth. This is living proof. Now I'll swim, but I. What is going on, YouTube? Back with the Prez. We're in Juniper Park today. It is a beautiful day in February, just about 60 degrees out here. So I couldn't go to the gym. I had to get a park workout in. You guys already know the deal. So today's routine, we're going to be specifically working on increasing our work capacity. So full upper body routine today, guys. We're going to be mixing in strength work as well. Shoulders, chest, back. Like I said, full upper body workout today. We're going to go through the standard warm-up right now with the band. And as you guys can see, I'm rocking all new merch again. New gear is all available. Like I said, everything is better quality now. we got everything stitched on. we got the stitched label, the Bar Natural logo in the front. The little above the bar, standard logo in the back. we got hoodies. You're going to see the tees, the tanks. I got everything on today. The new website is going to be live by the time this video goes live. So go to the website barnaturalfitness.com. I'm offering all new one-on-one -on -one online coaching deals, specific programs. There's all new written workout programs available that will literally take you through a full year of training. And uh, let's get into the warm-up, guys. Don't neglect your warm-up, it's very important. But remember, the warm-up should not be fatiguing. And the main movements that you're working should also get warmed up as well. That's where the warm-ups become very specific to the movements that you guys are gonna be training. So if I'm doing weighted pull-ups, we're warming up before we get into our working weight with lighter reps, right? And lighter weight. Same thing if I was doing a bench press, overhead pressing squat. We're not gonna go right into our first heavy set right away. You want the nervous system to fire up and get better and better as the weights go heavier and heavier, right? So you start with a light weight for a few reps, and then you just slowly build your way up throughout the warm-up sets, not fatiguing yourself before you get into the working weight. So, even on upper body days, guys, we warm up the lower body. Alright guys, warm up work is done, see you guys at the working sets, like I said it's going to be full upper body, mainly focusing on conditioning, but we're going to be throwing in some strength training as well, so let's get it. today on the hand on the dip bars all right guys so i'm starting the routine off today with deep handstand press-ups on the dip bars today the goal is to accumulate at least two to three reps per set and i want to be able to hit shoulder depth so i want to be able to go down till my shoulders make contact with the bars and then lock out i used to do this move all the time back in the day back in like 2015 I would say that was my prime for training, but I want to be able to beat that work capacity and get better than I was in 2015. That's the goal for this summer's training, right? So you guys can see, I got on the short sleeve, Bar Natural T now. Again, stitched on Bar Natural logo. We got the standard live above the bar on the back. And uh, let's go, set one. There goes set one. And look, not every day is gonna be your best. And honestly, 
I was unsure if I wanted to do the handstand push-ups today. I've been doing a lot of very systematic. I've been doing a lot of very systematic fatiguing exercises all week. I did a lot of overhead pressing, a lot of heavy weighted pulls, and a lot of heavy weighted dips throughout the week, which is gonna again have a lot of overall accumulated fatigue on the overall body, right? And this movement right here is gonna be another very strength, very high intensity movement for me. So I tested out the first set. It's not going how I'm planning. So I'm actually gonna cut that movement out completely today. And I'm gonna go to an easier variation just to build up some volume in my shoulders. And then we're gonna get to the push pull superset. So remember, you guys gotta be able to modify your workouts based on how you're performing on the day, right? Not every day you're gonna be able to give your best. And when you're doing these high intensity compound moves, heavy weighted pulls, heavy weighted dips, overhead pressing, remember it's gonna accumulate a lot of systematic fatigue just like squatting and deadlifting, right? They're full body exercises in themselves. They take a full body tension, and especially when you load them up, again, it's gonna really drain the nervous system. So you gotta learn to manage the volume and intensity. So everything today is gonna be very lower intensity, meaning lightweight, high reps. Let's get it. We got Big E making an appearance today. He's gonna be training the same style as me today. He's gonna be doing a little bit of super set work, high volume. We're gonna get a nice feast out. We're going out to dinner tonight. Let's go. 12 seconds on the bar. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Super setting right over here with pose. He's got 10 pulls. He's got a lot of pull work today, guys. So using the green and the black band today, we'll drop bands as the reps go lower. Let's go. But easy work on the first set. Let's go, we want this volume. Four, let's go. Five, let's go. None of that twisting on the top. Six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful work. Nice. And look, if you saw, he was doing this, right? You're gonna see a lot of athletes, they'll do this when they're ripping out, right? And they'll try to, you know, let go of the bar to try to relieve tension. That's going to put extra stress on the elbow joint on the, de on the eccentric portion of the exercise. Overall, when you do more and more repetitions like that, it's gonna inevitably lead to elbow pain and an injury, so avoid that. Squeeze that bar tight, pull chin over, and stay in control for the full eccentric. It's only gonna do you better. Save those type of reps only for in competition. Don't train like that. It's not gonna do you any benefit. It's gonna make you get hurt. So, E's got five round superset of this. You're gonna see what I'm gonna go to on a regression for the handstands. Let's get it. All right, guys. So you guys saw I failed on the first attempt of the deep handstand push on the parallel bars today. Again, that's because I have too much overall fatigue throughout the week's training. So I wanna regress this exercise. Like I said, I still wanna make this a strength training movement. So we're gonna go stomach to the wall, pause repetitions, again, aiming for, let's say, three to six per set, but I wanna get a nice pause each repetition with my nose to the floor. So, and you guys can see now we got the new tanks. These are really good cotton, really good quality. Everything I got, all my new merchandise is all 100% cotton. I got the next level fitted tees. I got the Gildan thick cotton hoodies. I forgot what brand these are, but these are, I tried a few tank top brands with the best one, best quality, they don't shrink. Again, standard patch, bar natural logo. Very subtle on the back. I think it's, what did I put on the back? Reps and sets are built by the bar. I'm not sure which one this has on it. What's this one have, e? That's his reps and sets. Reps and sets, so we're either gonna say reps and sets are built by the bar. Four reps, pausing my nose to the floor. Again, remember, I'm not trying to fatigue myself today. I want to be working strength, and then I want to get into really building up my work capacity and my push-pull. Competition season's right around the corner also, guys. I am going to be competing a lot this season, so stay tuned for the tournaments. And uh, let's go. Biggie's up, set number two. All right, second set. 
So the L sit holds for E are going up. 12 set one, 14 seconds set two. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we go right to the pulls. Pulls are going down. 10, eight, six, four, two. So he's got eight pulls. Set two. We're gonna drop the black band now. And he's only gonna use the green for the eight. I'm just gonna leave it on, just don't use it. Just the green band. Eight pulls. One, two, beautiful. Three, easy. Four, easy. Five, easy. Six, easy. Let's go, big breaths. Seven, let's go. Money. Remember when E used to have trouble pulling chin over the bar, but he would get the reps in. Now he gets the reps in, gets chin over the bar. And look, we're accumulating a lot of volume today, guys. We got a lot of pull work in, a lot of strength training. Let's go. Go, set two. reps again so I'm gonna go for three sets of four so one more set of this the goal was four but I'm gonna count that first failed set and I get that second set right there getting a little tough and I don't want to drop off in reps I want to get four on the set three and then move into some more volume let's go biggies up two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15 down so remember these holes are going to build a ton of upper body strength in general a lot of pushing strength and again these two exercise combination it's going to really dramatically again it's going to be more full body full body tension on those holes the core everything has to be engaged on the pulls so this is giving you a high bang for your buck ratio a lot of stimulus on the whole body again this is going to cause a lot of systematic fatigue overall as well let's go just the green band six then we drop into black. Nice pull, beautiful pose. Two, excellent. Three, easy. Four, light work. Big breath. Five, there it is. Big breath. Nice. Remember, as the reps get hard towards the end, naturally your body's gonna almost lose its coordination. That's why that dead hang at the end, when you're trying to reset and re get your strength back up, dead hang for a second, take a big breath, pull, and then as you're about to come down, release that breath, come back down. If you have one more rep to do again, dead hang, pull again. I don't recommend using that technique for more than the last two reps, maybe three reps max if it's your last set. But you shouldn't be happy, if your goal is to hit a certain amount of reps per set, you should be able to hit the majority of them straight, right? Up and down, back to back. You should not be able to, you should, you don't want the sets where you have to rest more than three reps per set, right? Two reps max resting when you're building strength, right? If you have to do any more than that, you're probably doing too much or going too heavy. So save it for those last two reps, ideally just one. And if you really want to push it, save it for your last set of the day. Because again, it's going to be very fatiguing on the body. So he's got two more rounds. I got one more round of presses. Let's go. All right, set three. Stumble to the wall, handstand push-ups. Remember, this is strength training, right? So even though me and E are going back to back, I'm still giving myself at least two minutes after E set before I go. So I'm still getting about three to four minutes in between each one of these sets. Any lower break periods, I would be failing. Like I said, set two of those four reps were very tough. So I had to give myself enough time before I'm going into set three to make sure I get these four reps right now. So let's go, guys.
sets, four, pause, nose to floor, handstand, push up, stomach to the wall variation. Beginners, go back to the wall. And just work on balance. Once you get your balance down, then you can start building. Back to the wall strength. You guys see I'm a little fatigued right there. Once you get good at back to the wall, then you can, then you can progress to stomach to the wall variation, which is gonna involve a little more core activation. Remember guys, when you're going, when you're kicking up backwards, back to the wall, you have the pole there to stop you from falling. When you go stomach to the wall, if you fall, you're falling away from the wall, right? So you gotta get comfortable being upside down and build that shoulder strength and endurance so you're comfortable and won't fail and fatigue and fall on your face, right? So main strength work done for the shoulders. We're gonna go into a push and pull superset now. Again, now we're gonna be really working on building our work capacity. So I'll see you at the first set. I'm gonna rest about four to five minutes now. Al, he's got two more rounds of this, so I'm gonna let him finish his rounds. And then we're both getting into the high reps sets together. 18 seconds right now. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good money. All right, we're dropping E to just the black band right now. His reps are dropping to four. So if I have to give him a little bit of assistance, I will. But he's got the first two reps on his own. I know it. Let's go. Light work. Soft up on the jump. Let's go. Good pull. Let's go. Up. Two. Three. Let's go. Work through that. Work through that. Four. And that's okay, guys. Look. Drop. The reps were hard for him in the black band, right? So his body knew that he couldn't do the reps, right? But he did the reps with my spot. So now his body's like, how am I getting through these reps? I can't do this, but I did it. That's how the nervous system starts to adapt, right? So those were gonna be extremely demanding reps for him. But because he did them, his body went through the motion ready. It went through that pain. It went through that high intensity rep. The next time he attempts it, it's gonna become easier for him. He may not get it, but it will cause less overall stress on the body and it will be easier for him to pull a little higher or a little stronger. So he's got two reps to go on his last set. We're gonna keep him in the black, black band again. Give him a little more break right now. Let's go, set five for E. 20 on the L sit holds. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, good money. Let's go. Last two on the pulls for E. This is gonna be 30 reps. Again, this black band, we both realized it got extremely light too. So it's even lighter than I thought it was gonna be to help him right now. So even though I'm giving a little bit of assistance, his nervous system's really firing up and activating and, and not understanding how he's getting through the rep. <clears throat> Let's go. Big jump. That's it. Way better. No help that rep. Little bit on rep two. Money. Let's go. Don't overdo it. You got more pulls. Good shit. All right. Five rounds down for E. He did 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 on the L sit holds. 10, 8, 6, 4, 2 on the pull-ups. So the pull-ups went down. L set holds got harder. The time under tension, every set overall was very high. The L set holds, again, remember, it's a full body movement. Everything is tense. The core is engaged. The legs are engaged. Everything in the upper body is engaged. He's building overall pushing strength and, and intrinsic strength. And then going to the pulls, increasing the heart rate, repping them out, increasing the volume. We got more work to do. Super setting again, guys. So let's get it. All right, so before I get into the main working sets, just gonna do a quick body weight warm up superset because we're gonna be supersetting during the working sets today. And everything today is gonna be done with neutral grip pose for the first routine. So just an easy warm up.
Just wanting to pull hard and explosive chest to bar, warm the nervous system up. Not trying to fatigue, like I said. And we're gonna be hitting, like I said, push and pull. So I'm, hold up, B. Like I said, push and pull for the working sets today. So we're gonna get into a dip set. Again, just a warm up set, warm the nervous system up, warm up the pushing muscles. All right, guys, this video is getting long enough and we have a lot of sets left and I want you guys to see all the work that we did. So I'm gonna cut the video off here and I'm gonna make this a two part video. So stay nice tuned for stretch. part two, let's go. Portion of the right, of the right. Let's give myself a nice stretch in the deepest portion of the movement and then come up as explosively as I can again to warm up the nervous system, activate all the main pushing muscles that I'm gonna need for the set. So, I'm gonna be doing these weighted and very high rep today, so stay tuned. Sad story, I ain't here for a symphony, no sympathy. When I was on the bench, you wouldn't sit with me. Now I'm on the court and I'm balling, my time's coming.